Hi friends, welcome back. The last video which I published was I think 10 days back. And now uh, in that uh, video we were discussing about numeric variables and then the scope of them, how to use them and examples etc. And also I promise that I will give some examples further. But before getting into uh, practical examples, let us understand the scope of variables. Scope of variable is nothing but how best we can use the variables that we need to understand so that we can ease our coding. So there are three types of uh, variable uh, declarations. One is static variables, which are called as local variables, module-wide variables and public variables. This is basically to understand how the variable can be placed or declared in, in a different place so that the so the validity of that particular variable is used for either particular procedure or particular module or particular workbook. Static variable is a declaration of variable within the substatements that sub and end sub between these two statements if you are declaring any variable that is called a static variable also it is called as local variable and the usage of that variable will end once that particular procedure is over. So, and then the memory will be freed up by the computer. And as we understood that, this, basic, this variable, declaration of variable is basically creating a memory for the computer. So, the computer can calculate that particular field based on the declaration of the variable. So, static variables are only used for specific procedures, which till now we have uh, basically used in our examples. So, this is the basic way of using variable. The second thing is module wide variable. Suppose you have a, a common variable which is used across the procedures within a specific module. So in a module you have some 5-6 procedures and you have a single variable which can be used for all the modules. You can declare that variable as a module wide variable. Only the thing is that the statement of declaration will go above the first procedure. So the way I have described here, so first dim something as long and then your first procedure will start and second, four, third, fourth. So this variable will be used in those uh, procedures which are available in that particular module. Sec and, uh, next thing is uh, public variables. Suppose in a workbook you have some five, six modules and each module has got some five, six uh, procedures. And the variable which you are going to declare is very common for all of them. So you wanted to use this variable, one declaration of variable and it is used across. And then, same way what you have used module wide variable but the keyword will change instead of dim you will write as public. Public something as long and then your procedure will start. First the option explicit anyway will be there. After that public. Earlier for module wide uh, variable it will start with dim and then the procedure in public variable first the keyword as public and then declaration of variable and then your procedure one two three four whatever it is so this public variable is used pub, not this public but public variable is used across the modules for the procedures in that particular workbook so that way we need to understand so these three concepts if you understood in a better way it will ease your coding method and you can minimize your uh, coding, right? There is another important uh, thing we need, we need to understand in variables that is while character. So normally till now what we are writing, uh, a, a, a declare, um, we are declaring a variable through a statement dim something as integer. It's long. I mean, you can shorten this further. That is called a while character. With the while character you can write dim something percentage. Percentage is nothing but your integer variable type. So that as integer is not required. Simply put percentage the declaration is finished. So these are the types of variables and then while characters are used. So you can use them with a practice. When you practice it you can do better uh, coding and you can minimize your coding effort so that you can do better job while writing your code. Uh, this variable declaration 
um, concept can be understood much better with this uh, additional points. Hope you understand uh, these things and just practice. And I'm coming up with next uh, with some examples and we'll discuss with constants and then we'll go to functions. For now, thank you.